All right, here's uh, my next boiler. Boiler itself is 20 inch diameter, 32 inches tall. Has 22 inch and a half copper tubes rolled in. Overall height of it to the top of the stock is about 82 inches. The firebox is uh, 22 by 22. The frame here is 24 by 24, but the firebox is 22 square. This one has an injector on it. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I'll try it later today and see, and I'll include a video if I can. So it's all plumbed in there. But we'll see about that. I've had troubles with injectors over the years and figured I'd got three of them that I can try on there and maybe we'll get one to work. There's a really nice whistle. Turn down your volume if you don't want to get shocked. This one, I has to have this valve on it to, uh, I guess it kind of activates it. It does that. So here's the whistle. I've never blown it before, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it works. Works good. But this valve, no, well, no, it's open. It's fine. It's just when the boiler was warming up, I needed to close it. It's leaking a little bit. Has a really nice sight glass on it. Tricox hand pump. This valve here, I'm testing the pop-off valve to see if it is accurate at about about 100. It's up to 90 right now, the boiler pressure. So it should might pop off here. This valve here is for the um, uh, injector. But I will remove this valve if this does check out, if this uh, pop-off valve does check out correct and it works. If not, I'll just close the valve and I'll put another one on there and try that. The hand pump here is one of my regulars. Works really good. Um, fill and drain are right here with this valve. This valve here is if you have a, a water um, airlock in the water pump. You know, like when you're going to first start using it, you can uh, make sure that all the air is out of the pump. It's an airlock valve, in other words. So it gets the air out of the pump. Like I say, fill and drain and blow down is here. I recommend, recommend that once in a while. Nice gauge. Now it's up to 95 pounds. We'll see if that pop-off valve goes off pretty soon. Blower is right here. Blower valve. Moves a lot of air through the fire. Big firebox, 22 square. Got an old log coming out there. And um, we got a move this wood around a little bit. Ash pan's right here. And engine out is back here. It's half inch. Just hook your steam pipe or hose up to that to go to your engine and you're all set. So I'm going to try this um, injector. I'm going to turn on this valve. And it's not working. But it's sucking water out of the... bucket. Back in there a little bit more. I don't think it's working. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta turn this valve on. Forgot about that. That valve is there to keep it, the hand pump from pumping water into the injector instead of into the boiler. If you watch the piping here, it goes here and this way into the boiler. But it can go this way up into the 
injector because there's no resistance there. So I'll try it again. Oh, it's working. How about that? It's working. Nice. Water's going down in the bucket. And then it's probably going way up in the sight glass. This thing's put out a lot. That's amazing. She's working. So the water is coming out of the bucket. I'm going to lose water in a minute because it's almost to the bottom of, of the hose. And uh, it is pulling it up and injecting it from steam coming in here. Steam coming in here. Water coming in here. And it's going out, down through the valve, and into the boiler. And look at the height of the water now. It's already three quarters. It was half in, halfway up. So, that's pretty cool. We have an active injector. Yay! I cleaned it and did all the work to it, and it should work. Now see if it reached the bottom of the hose. So I'm going to turn off the water now. You can see the hose is not long enough, but it's fine for in the future. You can always put a brick or something or a piece of wood underneath it to raise it up like I did on the hand pump there. Awesome. That's a lifting generator, a lifting injector. And that's about it. Nice boiler. Comes with an injector. That works. I like that. And uh, if my name is Ross. If you want to give me a call about this boiler, it'll be on eBay for sale. My number is 206 948-0770 and you can see uh, email me at anacortissteam at gmail.com that's anacortis all one word a-n-a-c-o-r-t-e-s s-t-e-a-m at gmail.com so we'll continue on here thanks a lot for watching